William Hill is rated A by SBR. Find out why by clicking on their logo. Hi, I'm Nahi Rydstrom and welcome to World Sports Weekly. A new season of Formula One is upon us, which means there are plenty of ripe betting opportunities upcoming. Here with us now to discuss the new season of Formula One and the Australian Grand Prix is SBR Forum sports writer and contributor Richard O'Hagan. Richard, welcome to the show today. Hi, Natalie. It's nice to be with you. Now, before we move on to the Australian Grand Prix, let's talk a little about who's been affected the most by the new regulations for this season, uh, namely the move from the 2.4-litre engines to the 1.6-litre hybrids. Uh, what's your take on this? Well, Natalie, the team that's been most affected by all of this has been Red Bull. The reigning champions have had real difficulty trying to adapt to this new technology, and their practice sessions have just been a disaster. So far, the best they've managed to do is to be seventh fastest in practice. Now, it doesn't take you an awful lot this time of year because you don't have everybody working on the same setup at the same time like you do in a race. But for a team like Red Bull and Sebastian Vettel, who's going for the fifth successive championship win, this has not been a good winter and it's going to be very, very difficult for them to win in Australia as a result. OK, so based on this here, Richard, I'm guessing we're not going to be betting on Red Bull, Red Bull here to win. No, I wouldn't go against them necessarily for a place in this race because they'll always be competitive and as one of the other team managers said do you really think Red Bull are going to build a bad car of course they're not but everybody else particularly Mercedes and Ferrari look far better far faster and they're not running the Renault engines which are the ones that seem to be having the problem okay well they've got about a two weeks here so uh, hopefully Red Bull do pull through on the Australian Grand Prix, Bet365 is currently offering 2.87 on Lewis Hamilton, 5.5 on Nico Rosberg, and 7 on Fernando Alonso. Now, do you fancy anyone, these, any of these three to win in Melbourne? Well, actually, I think all three of them have got a really good chance. They're in the cars that have been fastest over the course of the last month. Uh, Hamilton is always a popular bet, but you have to remember, Rosberg is in the same car, and Rosberg and Hamilton were pretty much even Stevens last year for most of the season. So if the two, I'd be inclined to go for Rosberg just because the odds are better. Alonso in the Ferrari, again, great opportunity, great chance for the Spaniard to come back and actually have a real crack at taking his crown back from Vettel. Um, Sevens, again, good price on him. You won't get odds that generous on him later in the season, I'll be prepared to bet. So worth having a little bit of money on him too. Hedge, hedge your bets a little bit because those three, plus Kimi Raikkonen in the other Ferrari, could easily form four of the top six places. Mm -hmm. OK, is there a long shot here that we should consider? Well, I think one possible option, again, as I mentioned, is Raikkonen. I think you probably also want to look at someone like uh, the Force Indias. They've been going really well in practice, very quick in the latest testing sessions. So I think you might want to have a look at them. Maybe even the Williams, maybe, or maybe someone like Jensen Button, because dreadful season last year, hoping for a much better season in the McLaren this year. So. Two cars that didn't perform at all well, but have been looking a lot better this year with these new regulations. OK, well, the SBR NASCAR discussion lounge is still in its infancy. Uh, there are many users who are unaware of all the kinds of ways one can bet and profit on motorsports. What other interesting bet markets should be considered for Formula One racing? Well, any Formula One race, Natalie, you're going to find you've got about 60 to 70 different markets available to you if you shop around. So you can bet on anything from uh, top 10 finishers, uh, top 6 finishers, specific cars to finish within the top 10 or the top 6. You can bet on the Constructors Championship, the Drivers Championship. One I always like to look out for actually is the first driver to retire in any particular race because you've got two or three teams who will poodle around at the back of the field. They're there, they're almost development squads and it's not usually one of those drivers that is the first to go out and yet they're usually quite short odds, those guys. So you can actually get decent odds on someone who's a bit reckless, someone like Sebastian Grosjean, going out quite early on in the race. And he succeeded in winning me some money last year on, I think, three occasions, which was quite good. So that's one of my favourite ones. Also, bet on pole position. That's a good one to, to go for, particularly during the practice sessions that precede the Grand Prix themselves. And betting in race, I would always look for the fastest lap because fastest laps in Formula One races tend to be set towards the end of the race. And quite often, they're not the guy that's winning the race that will set them. It's someone else who's trying to push up, get a few points towards the back of the, the point scoring positions. 
or someone who's out to impress their team for some reason. So again, this time around, look for someone like Kimi Raikkonen for that because he's in the Ferrari. He really griped his way into that driver's role after falling out of Lotus last year. And he'll be a good bet for someone who is looking to make some, some good impressions on his new team early in the season. Okay, well, clearly there's a lot to bet on here. Uh, but at this stage, uh, you know, what would you suggest our viewers, if, if there's one or two kind of hot tips, hot bets to make right now, uh, what would it be? Right now, I would be looking to bet on the eventual drivers and constructors winners. And I will look to go for, again, maybe a little bit of, a bit of bet hedging because I certainly think that Mercedes and Ferraris are the front runners. So I'd probably go for Ferrari because the odds are better. There, and I might just have a bet on Fernando Alonso to take that driver's championship back, but I'll probably put a small amount of money on Sebastian Vettel at this stage because you're not going to get better odds than you are on him now. And I fully expect that towards the end of the season, Red Bull are going to come much stronger. And particularly when you consider that at the end of this season, the last races are going to have double points on them. So in actual fact, the teams that finish the season stronger are going to have an advantage anyway. Okay, very interesting. That Richard, thank you for joining us. You're welcome, Natalie.